a fairly extraordinary year so far for Graham Stunes. Concern for his health following his heart bypass operation was matched only by the murmurings that this was the end of an era for Liverpool Football Club. Well, after only 31 days in hospital, Sunes appeared at the FA Cup final, where Liverpool again reminded us you can never write them off. And Ray Houghton starting the second half on the Liverpool left with McManaman on the right-hand side from where he cut in. And so confused Paul Bracewell just before half-time in an incident that if Liverpool don't win the Cup, We'll go down into folklore. Oh, they might win it now. Michael Thomas. That's brilliant. And they try and keep Graham Thunis calm on the bench. But they can give full vent to their feelings. Burn oh, tried to get beyond Burroughs. He simply kept his eye on the ball, which is what defenders have to do when Burn drops the shoulder. I can fool you with his body movement. Saunders. It's Thomas again. And now Rush. He rewrites the record book. And Liverpool start to experience a familiar feeling. Ian Rush scores in a third FA Cup final. Mark Wright's joy at receiving the FA Cup must have been mixed with relief as their victory meant qualification for Europe by the last available route. For the battles ahead, young goalkeeper David James has been bought from Watford. James seen here taking in his new surroundings. He's highly proficient at his art and will pose a threat to Bruce Grobular, who perhaps feels now under pressure from the new arrival. Well, it's up to me really, uh, Martin. I've got a keep the young lad out if I start the season then I've got to play to the best of my ability all the time um, whether or not I can keep him out for the two years it remains to be seen but he is a fine goalkeeper and they, Liverpool haven't bought him just to come and sit on the bench and wait uh, they've bought him for the future he's got, a, he's, a, he's got great attributes and uh, I think he can be one of the best but in saying that um, he's got a lot to learn and Hopefully then I can teach him. Sudas has also spent heavily on a midfield player to replace the outgoing Ray Houghton. Paul Stewart has been recruited from Spurs, but one of his most treasured members was scoring the winner against Liverpool. Stewart, happy to be back in the north, has quite modest ambitions. Um, I probably should stay in the side for one thing. You know, I mean, you go to any other club for a lot of money. And, you know, you get at least a season where you're guaranteed a place. At Liverpool, you can go for five million and you're still not guaranteed to play. So, you know, I'd like to think that I can go out and earn a shirt and play well for my club. And then from there, I hope things will, will blossom from there. But at the moment, I'm more concentrating on playing well for Liverpool and keeping a shirt. Stewart has already received the call from Graham Taylor to full international level. And in the recent B International, he scored one of three England goals against France. Soon to follow in his footsteps, surely, will be Steve McManaman, who created a fantastic impression in his first full season for Liverpool. With Rush, Barnes and Mulby all still influential, Liverpool are top three material.